This is what happens when you put PLA in an oven. Okay, I think this is all, everything realistically I'm gonna be able to grab. Everything's pretty clear from here now. There's a few little bits, but my goal is to use this before all of this builds up again. This is probably three months worth of poop. Uh, I've collected every single bit. We don't throw any of it away. And our plan is to create something with it. I'm glad it's not all the same colors. There's a lot of colors in here. We have an oven behind us. We have some silicone molds, so let's see what we can do. Right, I've been meaning to do this for a while. I had a tick, other way, TikTok that you can see by here where I used a heat gun and silicone mold to make little skulls. I've done a few others since, but they didn't turn out great. They didn't have a flat bottom, so people were telling me to do it in an air fryer, do it in an oven. I didn't want to put it in my air fryer or my oven because that's where I make my food, obviously the plastic or all the fumes. So I bought a little oven, 30 pounds on Amazon. I'm in a somewhat well-ventilated room. I'm not wearing a mask. Do not do this at home. Don't do any of this at home. I've got it on wood and wood. That's not the way you should be doing it. I can turn the power off. I'm somewhat prepared for a fire, but I've got a metal spoon, all my printer poop that I've collected over months. And we have a silicone mold, which you can see here should produce some sort of tray. I don't have any, I don't have any mold remover, so I'm hoping it just comes out. I didn't use it with the skulls that are up there and they were fine. So we're going to give this a go. I'm going to move the camera closer. Again, don't do this, even if it turns out well, do it, do it a better way. All right, I'm going to try it at, it's been on for like 10 minutes, say. I'm going to try it like 200 degrees. And I'm also going to try it with the door open. Maybe whilst it just heats up, I'll close the door. But you guys should be able to see what it looks like. I'm use this ladle then to scoop the poop inside the mold. I'm going to put one piece of poop in there right now, just so we can see when that starts melting, we, we're probably good to go. It's been about two minutes and it's still, still not hot at all. Well, it's still not, it's just beyond touchable. I'm going to say it's like 80, 90 degrees. Should this cable not be touching? Oh, the, the filament started to melt. I can see it's slowly wilting. Let's put some more in there. Right, it's been about five minutes. I think I'm going to turn up the temperature. It's actually started to melt. I'm going to turn the temperature up a little bit more. And we're going to put some more poop in. Look at this. It's been going. Don't, don't touch the glass. It's really hot. It's been 20 minutes. It hasn't. It's been about 15 minutes and it's, it's taking forever. I've got the oven all the way up. I don't know if the top's hot, but uh, can't be that hot. I don't know whether it's going to pick it up on camera, but it it is steaming. I don't know if it's just because the filament's wet. I hope so. I can't be making just one of these an hour. I'd have to sell it for like 35 pounds. Do you know what? I just don't think it's hot enough. I think even though PLA melts at 200 degrees, I think just this much PLA, if you want it to go like fully liquid, you, you need more than 230 degrees. I'll leave it another 10 minutes and we'll see what happens. We're 40 minutes in, it's it's not looking too bad. I'm gonna add some more because the corners, the edges still need filling up. Oh, 
Okay, we've been going almost an hour now. Once this is done, I'm going to put this glass bill plate on the top of it, or I guess on the bottom, just so it has a flat bottom. Just how I like it. That was the problem with the skulls I did in the TikTok. They weren't flat on the base, so somebody said put like a glass plate on the bottom whilst it's still hot, which was a good idea. So I'm just going to wait for this little blue bit to melt now. So I'll fill up that corner that I want, and then we'll put a glass bill plate on. Okay, I don't really know what my plan is here, but I need to get the tray out, the glass bill plate on, but the oven moved out of the way. So I think if I unplug the oven, move it by here, take the tray out, put it on the cutting board, glass plate on. Water bottle on glass bill plate to squish it down maybe? Let's let's give that a go. Oven oven's gonna be hot. So we'll unplug oven. So if you can't see anything, I'm focusing more on what I'm doing than the content. Oven moved. Tray out on cutting board. Glass plate on. Water bottle on that. And I only burned myself a little bit. Now I'm gonna wait for that to cool. Okay, so before we see how this one turned out, I haven't taken out the mold yet. We're gonna try it with a heat gun, and this is a much bigger mold. Still a tray, but this wouldn't have fit in the oven, so I just wanna give this one a go. Because the oven took an hour. Granted, that was probably just because I had an oven, but is the heat gun the way to go? I think it just gets a lot hotter, a lot faster. So we'll try this one, and then we'll compare. Okay, so it's been uh, 25 minutes and this this is all we've done. It looks pretty good on camera, I think, but ultimately it's just not enough. I've, I do think maybe the oven has some merit to it because there's a lot of manual work, there's a lot of me using my wrist. It's melted quite a lot. I do think I'm gonna chuck half of this in the oven, like whatever part doesn't stick out and just get it all melted, ready. So I'm gonna chuck the rest of this in the oven now just so it's, I make sure it's gone down all the, the cracks um, because there are gaps along the side, it's meant to be like a dish. So chuck it in the oven and then we'll come back and then we'll compare them. Okay, so this didn't work in the oven. It's just too big, so I'm gonna to have to heat gun it. I will finish it. But let's just see what this one looks like first. Oh, it's peeling off real easily. It's really, really smooth. I don't know if you can see that, the shine on it. There's a couple of air pockets, a couple of cracks, so that could be improved. But ultimately, there's a little bit of like flashing on the edges, but let's see. But if I just got a deburring tool, I could get rid of all of that, I think. I actually really like this. And if we can just make this in the oven, it is. The oven is better than the heat gun. I just need to get a bigger oven, I think. Okay, so we're gonna try a different approach because this was just so hard to do. There was just no way of doing it properly. It, it's gonna need a big high temperature oven. So we're gonna go with these little molds. So these are skulls and then these are three dragons, you know, hear, speak, see no evil. I'm gonna put those in the oven. I'm just gonna give them as long as they need and just keep topping them up. It might be too tall. Maybe just the skeletons. Okay, we're just gonna do the skulls. Okay, you're at a bit of a weird angle, but I think our dinner's ready for more poop. Smoking quite a bit. Okay, let's just fill this up with a bit more then. Ideally without burning myself.
that's that's enough for now. Okay, we're going again from this angle. Oh, it's melting so much better. I've got to stop picking up so much at the same time though. I'm gonna give you this angle instead. Just don't melt the camera. You can see they're, they're not filled up all the way. Not even close, that means it must be melting down quite well. It's been like an hour. I keep topping it up. Because of these tavern mugs that I keep printing, all, most of my poop is brown and silver. So maybe we'll start to do some more colorful prints. And I keep getting like, these type of globs. And I think they're just gonna be too thick to melt or they would just take a long time. But maybe if I put one like somewhat in the center, it would help fill it up a bit but for the moment I'm avoiding them. I'll come back when this is almost filled up because you're not seeing anything new at this point. I'll just keep burning myself and trying this. Okay, I'm gonna call this done. It's as full as it's gonna get. It's as steamy as it's gonna get. It, it actually started to melt. Have a look at this. This is what happens when you put PLA in an oven. I don't know why I touched it, but I'm okay. I was dumb. I realized my mic up wasn't on for any of that. So my plan was to make it flat with this. I need to do something because it's really gross. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. I would really recommend not, not touching it after it's come out the oven. That hurts a lot. Okay, so now we're going to compare the skulls. We're gonna, I haven't unpeeled these at all yet. A lot of bits coming off. I'll give you a better angle. Oh wow, it's so smooth. Oh, there's a bit of a hole at the top. Look at that. See the little cavity there? That's not too bad though. I still think this would be sellable. Uh, there is a huge hole at the bottom that I never noticed. We could tell it was bubbling up though, so that'll be part of it. But these little pieces, you can see like the flashing on the outside. That'd be easy to trim off. See what the other one's like. There's no obvious holes on this one. I don't actually think I needed any um, like silicone mold release. It's only where I burned the top that it's somewhat stuck. But as soon as it gets past this outer lip, it's all good. I did just rip some of the mold off. It got stuck on the inside. So maybe don't listen to me and we'll get mold release next time and buy a new mold. Again, this one's coming off nicely. Very few holes in the head. But look at that. Like I said, it's a shame I had so much brown and silver, but obviously yours will look different depending on how much you use. See by here, it's very smooth. There is some cracking in the eyes. I don't know whether you can see that in there. So I don't know whether it cooled down too quickly or what happened there. They don't seem fragile. And that's what I wanted to check. So I've got some weighing scales here. I'll put them on a flat surface. So this is how much filaments we actually used 
for one skull, 386 grams. That's a lot saved. That's like seven pounds, depending on the filament you order. And the other skull, bang on 300 grams. I mean, you can tell. And then let's have a look at the tray. Another 218 grams. So what's that, like uh, 860 grams? What was this one? 880 grams. So that's almost half a roll of filament just on these. So what do I think? Do you think saving your filament scraps and then turn them into molds? Obviously, there's better ways to do it than I did. Hopefully you, hopefully you learned a little bit from what I've done and what to do better. Buy a bigger oven. Definitely don't use your actual one because there was a lot of smell and residue still in that oven. That, that's just going to be used for plastic from now on. But these are very sellable. If you go ahead and buy some like coaster molds, different uh, other types of molds, still don't think they're gonna be food safe. You know, there's still like little pores in there. So whilst 3D printer and filament is technically food safe and get between the lines, I would say the same with this. There's, there's just too many cavities unless you can figure out a way how to remove those. If any of you guys do this at home, I've seen some YouTube videos of other people doing it and they kind of do it the same way and get similar results better than mine. But I don't think these are bad. I think these are definitely something that you could put on your store for basically no filament cost at all. It's just saving your filament. And then whether you're willing to go through the oven process or the heat gun process, or maybe you know something better than what I did. If you have any recommendations, maybe I'll do it again, but a different process next time and let me know. If you want to see more 3D printing content, I've got a lot more lined up. We've got a big printer coming and um, some behind the scenes of my business, especially as it comes close to Christmas and what it takes to run a printing business like that, especially if you want to get into it by yourself. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description for my site, my Patreon, if you want some models that we're selling. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.